Hi guys, welcome to the 30th video of the Love Babbar 450 question series. So I thought maybe in the morning only I will add a video because maybe in the evening you all will be busy. So let us uh, solve problems in the morning only. If you have not yet watched a single video, I have put the playlist in the description. You can also check it on Code Chef Love Babbar 450 question series. It has got almost 6,500 views. Many people are liking it, I will suppose. And uh, I have put all the information over here. You can also find the uh, questions link over here. And also in the description also, I will put it, okay? And moreover, uh, the submissions that I do, that also you can find in the description of the video. Today's problems are really, really good. They will help you to completely get a grip on problem solving and boost your confidence if you already have started solving such kind of problems. That is if you're following the list, okay? So let us go to the list first and uh, please like, share it with all your friends and subscribe to the channel. It will really motivate me. So today let us solve uh, these two problems. First problem is eco. Already topic is given over here. So already the topic is mentioned binary search. So this is going to be a binary search problem. What is the problem statement? We have to chop down M meters of wood. And uh, what all data are we given? So basically in this problem, we will be given what? We have some N number of trees. Okay, we need to collect at least M meters of wood. Okay, so the input will be something like N and M followed by N space separated integers, which will denote height of every single tree. So basically, if I have to pictureize this, there are N trees, okay? I don't know how to draw a tree, just bear with me. So there will be N trees like this. N trees and we need to chop some trees. We need to cut. Okay. We need to cut such that we get at least M wood. M meters of wood, at least M meters of wood. But what is the optimization we have to do? What we have to do is we have to find the maximum possible integer height of the saw blade which allows us to cut at least m meters of wood. So what is unique in this problem is, the unique thing about the problem is, first of all, I hope you have all read it completely once. I'm just telling you what it is directly. So if suppose there are some trees like this, we have to choose one particular height, let us say h. We have to fix this h. And this H will be H meters above the ground and we chop everything. So whatever is getting chopped now, we have to sum everything like that. I hope you're understanding. We are going to fix a height and whichever tree has a height greater than that, whatever amount we chop off, that we are going to add. And this addition, this summation should be at least M. That is what the question is asking us to do. Let us take a test case example and see. So if the trees are of height, say 20, 10, 15 and 17, and I need at least five meters of wood. Sorry, I need at least seven meters of wood. Then what am I going to do? What should be my H? How should I set my H? If I say H equal to 15, then what will I get? 20 minus 15. This I won't do anything. This I won't do anything. This will be 17 minus 15. So it will be five plus two, which is equal to seven. 
So H will be the greatest height for which I will get at least seven meters of wood. Whichever tree has a height greater than H, that will give us remaining wood, and all that summation should be greater than M or equal to M, and we have to maximize H. I hope you are able to understand the problem now. So we will completely use binary search only over here. because whenever we have to search or optimize something and if it is a monotonic function we use that only so first of all let us go to my problem solution let me just copy this and let me just paste it over here so what i have done is i have taken the input and i have to find lower limit and upper limit right in this problem what is the search space what is going to be our search space what is l and what is h l will be minimum tree height and h will be maximum tree height because we can cut this much and maximum we can cut this much you can set l as 0 also but it is more advisable to set it to minimum height it makes more sense i mean why would you cut to a height of 0 right just set it to minimum height of the tree that is find the minimum in the array set it to l find maximum in the array set it to h okay then apply binary search l less than or equal to h find mid value and keep a sum variable now what we are doing is we are saying for this mid can we get a sum greater than m for this particular mid can we cut wood such that we get a total wood more than or equal to m if we are getting then we just say answer is mid but because we have to maximize we search on the right side whenever we are searching on the right side we do l equal to mid plus 1 we want to maximize so we search on the right side otherwise we search on the left side h equal to mid minus 1 don't forget to record the answer answer will be mid what is this mid this mid is telling us at that height at that particular height cut all the trees so whichever tree is having a height greater than mid we will do sum plus equal to a of i minus mid because this will be the remaining wood like this we can solve the problem in n log n time so this was a simple binary search i hope you are able to understand the code and as i have already submitted you can see right i have submitted and i got it correct only i will share the link in the description okay don't worry i'll share the link you can look over there so this was the n log n solution let us go to the next problem i hope you all understood the code i hope you understood this part we are checking for a particular height can we cut wood such that the amount is greater than or equal to m so i hope you understood this much let us go to next problem so next problem is roti prata so roti prata problem what is it saying so first of all let me remove this so this problem is saying that there are l cooks and we need to do p parathas we need to do p parathas i am saying paratha only i don't know why <laughs> so every cook has a rank r and one and he can cook one paratha in first r minutes one more paratha in next two r minutes and one more paratha in next 3 r minutes what does this mean 
Suppose a cook has a rank equal to two. So two, four, six, eight, like this. How long will it take to cook two pratas? It is not four. It is two plus four. In first two minutes, he will cook one para, uh, prata. Next four minutes, he will cook another prata like that. So, if I ask you, if the rank of the cook is equal to two, how many, how much time will it take to make three prata? Your answer should be two plus four plus six. This is nothing but summation of first three terms of AP. So, what is this problem? Basically, it is what summation of first n terms of AP. This is following an AP, right? Every cook will have a rank R and every cook will cook like this only, right? According to his rank. What will the AP be for every cook? The arithmetic progression will be what? R, 2R, 3R, 4R, like this. And this is for every cook. How many cook are there? L. What should we find? We have to find, we have to find what? We have to find out minimum time to make P prata. Minimum time to make what? Minimum time to make P prata. So let us take the test case example. See, P is equal to 10. And the cooks have a rank 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. How much time will it take for a, for a, for a cook to make at least 10 prata? What is going to be the search space? Search space L is equal to 0. This is obvious. What is H? What is our upper limit? How to set our upper limit in this problem? Our search space is going to be nothing but, first of all, find a maximum value in the array. Let that be max. Our H is going to be P into P plus 1 into max divided by 2. How we got this? Basically, this is the AP formulas, a summation of n terms of an AP. It is that formula. Because maximum time will be taken by a person having a rank maximum. Na? Because in this case, for example, if we look at this example only, Let us take this cook. In four minutes, he will cook one prata. Whereas this person, in just one minute, he will cook one prata. So this person is taking more time. So whatever is the maximum value in the array, that only will help us find out the upper limit of our search space. What is our search space going to be? It is going to be time taken. It is the time taken to make pratha. So that is why our H, that is upper limit of our search space, is going to be what? The search space upper limit is going to be P into P plus 1. into maximum value in the array, this whole thing by 2. What is sum of n terms of AP? n into A plus L by 2. Modify this, you will get this answer. If you modify this formula, you will get this. So the search space is ready.
I expect you to know at least what is arithmetic progression, what is sum of n terms of AP, all these things, basic maths, I expect you to know. So after finding search space, how to use binary search? Let us look at that. Because ultimately we have to solve the problem, right? So let us look at that. So let me just copy the code here. So we are taking the input P and input N. I'm finding the maximum in the array after taking the input. And I've set my L as zero, lower bound as zero and upper bound H as what? My upper bound H will be P into P plus one into max by two. You don't have to sort the array. You can just find max in linear time only. Now apply binary search and say mid equal to this, keep a variable sum. This sum will tell us the time. This is telling us the time. Time taken for what? What is this time telling us actually? What is this mid value? This is actually not time. This is telling us prata. Sum is telling us how much prata. How much prata we can make, we can make in time equal to, time equal to what? Mid. In time equal to mid, how much prata we can make? That is what this sum variable will tell us. So how to find that? So to find that we are just using the AP formula. Okay. Because for example, if I say my time is equal to 12, let us say mid is equal to 12. Okay. And rank is equal to one. In one minute, I'll make one pratha. Next two minutes, I will make one more. Next three minutes, I will make one more. Next four minutes, I will make one more. So total pratha made is still now four. Time taken is 10. And if I take some more time, it will be more than 12. So it's impossible. So I am calculating this as well as how much pratha for each cook, for each cook in this in this while loop for each cook, I'm running a loop and I'm calculating in the time equal to mid within time equal to mid, how much pratha this cook can make. So that is what I'm calculating and I'm storing the answer in sum. If sum is greater than or equal to P, that means in time mid, I can make more than or equal to P pratha. And now I want to minimize my time. If I have to minimize my time, I have to go to the left side of the array. I have to search in the left side. Not array, sorry, search space. I have to search in the left side of the search space. So that is why answer is mid and height. I mean, H is equal to mid minus one. Otherwise, I will search on the right side. I hope you understood what this loop, uh, loop is doing. For each person in time equal to mid, how much pratha he can cook? That is in this code. So I hope you understood the solution now. And I'll share the link of the solution also in the description. It was a very interesting and nice problem. You can do it, I think, very comfortably after this. Please share the video with all your friends. It will really help them, I feel. Subscribe to the channel if you really liked it. Please motivate me by doing so. Thank you all for supporting till now. And like the video if you did like it. And uh, have a good day. See you in the next videos. Take care. Bye. Stay tuned.